This video is Basic Enterprise Manager Installation and Setup. This video will assume you have already installed Microsoft SQL Server and made it accessible to the rest of your network. Basic instructions for this step are available on the Enterprise Manager website. Step 1 will be to extract the program files to a location on your network which is available to all users you expect to use the software. The setup files come in two flavors, a setup only file which is used only for the initial installation, and an update only file, which is used only to update an existing installation. Since this is our first installation, we will begin with the setup only file. Let's extract that now. Next, we will rename the extracted folder to Enterprise Manager. Since a newer build is available in an update, we will extract that to the same location and allow all existing files to be overwritten. The update files contain original copies of all reports, templates, and labels, so if you have customized or modified in any way these items, you will want to ensure that you do not overwrite them. Let's do that now. It is never necessary to extract each update file you may have skipped, only the most recent one. Step 2 will be to set up and update the database. These files come in the same two flavors, setup and update. First, delete any existing database you may have from testing. We will then begin by opening the setup file and running it by clicking on the execute button. If you see this prompt, you can click yes or no, it doesn't matter. Once this has completed, we will run each update build that exists. Each build will first check that it has not already been run, and will then check to make sure that the script prior to it has been run. In this way, it is not possible to run them out of order. For example, if we skip straight to the last script, you will see that an error message is raised. The program itself will also always make sure that all updates have been executed against the database and will refuse to run if it finds they have not. Please note, if you are updating a database with a name other than the default Enterprise Manager, you will need to remove the first line of each script, Use Enterprise Manager. And make sure that you select the correct database to execute the query against from the drop-down. At this point, you have a full installation ready to begin setup. 